Oh, so video tutorials by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use the power transform feature of Affinity Photo. Now, what that does is instead of just like duplicating, you can combine, duplicate, and repeat the transform. So, now, first thing to do, just going to actually create a path to actually transform and duplicate and everything. So, just going to quickly go over here to the pen tool. Now, you could use stars, you could use circles, you could use squares and any other kind of path as well. So it doesn't just have to be just a basic line, but this is for example. So I'm just gonna to go to the pen tool and I've got to make certain there's no fill and stroke set there, 47, and I'm just gonna apply that stroke just like that. I'm using the line mode at that point. Now, once you've actually got that line, what you can do, you've got transform. Now you don't need that particularly, but you can see it in view and studio and transform. Then just go over here to the move tool and you can see this little rotation center. So make certain that's on so you can just click and I'm just going to drag it out here. So I want it to rotate around here. Now, just going to show you a, a slight quirk in this tool. Now I'm not certain why. Maybe there is something I'm doing wrong. But if you do command J, which is the wall control J, it should duplicate it and then do a transform. So I'm just gonna, but just gonna first add the transform. So I'm just gonna add it now. So that's 10. Now, say so Command J and then Control J or whatever, depending on your system, PC or Mac, and then repeat. Now, you can see it didn't do it. Doesn't make sense. Just should do it, but doesn't. So I'm just gonna undo those and undo the transformation. And again, just gonna rotate it and again, just do that, just, okay. Now, come on, J, control J, it does it. So, I'm not certain what the logic is. Seems, you can do it a couple of times, I just wouldn't do it, then sometimes it just suddenly does it. Perhaps someone can point out in the comments that uh, what I'm doing wrong, but uh, it does seem to uh, not always do it. So I'm just doing it, obviously, 10, so straight away, I can stop at that point. So I've created the design. So now what I can do, just go there, select all of those, so they're all selected. Now I can group them. I can also just go back to the pen tool and just say, maybe select that, change the width for all of them so you can create a different type of design. And then just pressure, you can modify that as well. So you can just see you can create sort of different designs very quickly and easy by using just this pressure feature. So that's it. You can also, of course, I say you can group them. I'm just gonna quickly go over here and group, and you can apply, obviously, effects, maybe add an outer shadow, and just set the radius, offset, and I'm just gonna go for greater than that, yep, otherwise you can't see it. You can see the design there. Right, we can, of course, modify that. Slightly slower, obviously, when you've got a slightly more complex path, but that's it. But that's a quick run-through of the Power Transform tool. I hope you found this of interest. Thank you very much.